Hey guys, before we start, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video. Sponsors are a big part of how I keep this channel running and I'm able to keep making content for you guys. And today was pretty fun because I took some creative liberties. Normally I would be using this in my dingy bathroom, but I thought it'd be more fun to get outside and probably more fun to watch as well. <laughs> so without further ado, today's sponsor is a digital health clinic for women called Rory. And it's actually the sister brand of Roman, which is essentially the same but designed for men. So guys watching this, you guys can check that out as well. While they help treat a range of things from menopause to daily health and sexual health, I've been trying out their personalized skincare category. I personally don't wear much makeup, so I try to focus more on maintaining a skincare routine that keeps my skin looking nice without it. And these last couple months, I've been using Rory's Nightly Defense before I go to bed. The way it works is basically you just go online and complete their free consultation and a US licensed healthcare professional reviews it, prescribes you a personalized treatment plan, and then it gets delivered to you with free two-day shipping. You can always follow up with them if you feel like you need a change in treatment or have any questions. If this sounds like something you'd like to check out, just go to hellorory.com slash Hannah. It's free to chat with the doctor and you can get your first order of the nightly defense cream for just $5. Again. That's hellorory.com slash Hannah, and you can also find the link in my bio. Hi. <laughs> to anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Hannah, and I just bought a cabin. And there's another cabin over that direction. And that's my van that I have lived in previously. Basically, tonight's video is going to be about the cabin at night because uh, I posted those last two videos about the cabin and I am getting so many comments from people saying how freaked out they would be to live here and be here at night. So I just thought I would give you a little look into what it is like being here at night. So please excuse my pajamas. A little something to do while I wait for my water to boil. Where was I going with this? Basically, I've not done much since last week. I kind of took a break. So my uncle is coming tomorrow actually to help me do the, the lifting of the corner of the house. And then we're also gonna work on insulating this entire portion of the cabin. <laughs> Those projects will be next week's video. So stay tuned for that. I figured today could be kind of a not so project oriented video, I guess. I guess I just wanted to show people what it's like here at night because people were telling me it seemed like it would be really scary. There are some moments where those people are right. <laughs> it can get pretty creepy here, but um, for the most part, it's actually really calm. I'm very, I'm very oddly, suspiciously at ease here. I'm pretty sure it's because of living in the van. Um, when I lived in the van, Bird just smashed himself into my window. Are you okay? I don't know what to do. What do you do? Okay, I gotta get off of this and like Google. 
okay, he's he's in a box. I put him in a box with some rags. I'm gonna let him be for a little bit. And I'm gonna go put my mac and cheese in the in the thing. Okay, I'm gonna let my mac and cheese sit. I'm gonna sit by the bird. Okay, he's still breathing. You okay? I was talking about the van, and I was talking about how uh, living in the van made me more comfortable with like being alone at night. When I lived in the van, I was constantly in like either remote places or just like right outside somebody's house or like in public. I got very used to just doing that. And it was really scary at first because you're just constantly kind of on edge and then you just kind of get used to it and you're like, okay, this is really not so bad. And that's how I feel here. I mean, I've got a whole house for protection versus a van where my head is right next to the door and window. The bird is still breathing. <laughs> the internet told me that they can die from shock. I really hope he's okay. <laughs> Before anyone says anything, I'm aware that I eat like a 12 year old. Okay, now we go. I can't carry all these things. He's awake. He's up on his feet. You good, buddy? Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat my dinner. I am a firm believer in not doing more dishes than necessary. Mmm. <laughs> bird guy has been up and sitting for a while now, so I'm kind of worried that you can't fly out of the box. Why did I have to show you? But, oh! Never mind, you can. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna try and tip the box a little bit so he could walk out, but never mind. Okay, well, there you go. Bird is, bird is Bird is good and fine. I didn't even name him, so that's good. I didn't get too attached. As you can see, it's getting dark out. So I'm gonna set up the bonfire while it's still light out. I'm gonna let that get burning and I'm gonna go screw in the bulbs for the twinkly lights because I wanna see how it looks. I hung them up, but I haven't put the bulbs in yet. So I'm gonna go do that right now and see how it looks because it's finally dark out.
Okay. <laughs> I think this is adorable. Let's go see it from a distance. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? That is so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? I live here. What is this? I'm gonna make one singular marshmallow to go with the last little bit of my glass of wine. Because I can. <laughs> and then I gotta go inside and go to bed. Because I still have to do all of the dishes and I have to brush my teeth and I have to set all the mouse traps. And then I was thinking about watching a movie on my brand new spanking shelf that I made for my projector. tuck into my movie and go to bed <laughs> so I will talk to you guys next week have a nice night guys sweet dreams oh god that was cheesy <laughs> oh god <laughs> good night guys <laughs>